it was really uh, education for me. We had a meeting a week ago, a conference in the University of Iceland, and there were uh, lawyers there, and, and part of the Magma Committee were educating us, and you can find this online, a lot of people wrote about this. But it was, it was really stunning to see that like, 200 years ago, when there were he Icelandic heroes trying to build up the independence of Iceland, and every 20 years, something remarkable step was taken towards its independence. The heroes that we know, like Bjarni Frau Oye and Jón Sigurðsson and all these big names. And then finally, Iceland got its independence in 1944. And every 20 years, this huge step. And then in the years of 2003 and 2000, 2007, all these laws that took 200 years to build are dropped in the space of four years. And it's like, it's like shocking. It's really shocking if you look at it that way. Really giving away all its chance of, of, of independence. Yeah, also the, the committee that was formed by the government uh, that was asked to look into if the, if the uh, shell company in, in Sweden was, uh, was legal or not basically came out with the conclusion that the, le the laws that we have in Iceland for this are not good enough. So they couldn't basically form a, a conclusion. So, so basically what the guys said, that want to pull this through, said, okay, that means we can do it. Because if it's not forbidden, we'll just do it. But, I mean, of course you cannot run a whole country on, on a legal system like this. You have to go back and start new laws, write new laws, and that it's very bulletproof, uh, and also that the whole nation is behind it. It's not just few people making decisions for the whole country. And that's why we've been asking for a national referendum, because the, the nation is so angry now, and it's so split, and, and, and just to make peace with the soul of the nation, we need to make a, have a direction Number one, what we want to do with Icelandic energy sources, and then we have to vote and we have to be happy with the choices we make, and that it is based on a solid legal system that makes sense.